She is the author of several children's books and has worked as a field engineer. But what started her love for writing? Camille Jackson joins us now to talk about her book, Has Anyone Seen Dara's Smile? Hey Camille, welcome to Smile Jamaica. Thank you so much, good morning. <laughs> awesome having you. So, so talk to me Camille, how did we transition? Well not transition, because you're still working in, in the field, but from a field engineer to an author of children's books. What inspired right. that? Well, you know, it started, uh, I've always been writing stories. I remember in school, always been writing stories. And I think the first one that I took to the next level was when my nephew turned one and I couldn't find positive stories. So I wrote one and we took it to the studio. So we were singing and we produced a cute little story for him. He's now 17. So that was a few years ago. Mm -hmm. um, all my godchildren received stories personalized for them. And it was about three years ago when I had written this story for my niece, Dara, that I decided to take it to the world. Ah, is this, a, is this something that actually happened with Dara? It actually was a game that my mother used. I remember her playing that with me oh. and, of course, my sisters and nieces and, and cousins and so on. Mm -hmm. So it's something I decided to put to writing. And, you know, I used it with Dara and other children. And I found it very useful. And here I am sharing it with the world. Yeah. It's done in rhyme. It's done in rhyme. Yeah, it's done in rhyme, which um, I, 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 for the audience, I guess the parents are reading it. The rhyme kind of lulls them and the children into enjoying it. How difficult was that, doing it, doing the story in, in rhyme? That actually comes naturally to me, doing it in rhyme. And all my other books are also written in rhyme. They are for different levels of children. So that does come naturally to me. All right. Um, the illustration, how, how did we work out that part of it? The illustration brings it to life. Yes, it and does. And I have blessed to work with Rachel Moss on my first two publications. Um, I do have one other one coming out and I took it a little differently from the first two, mm -hmm. but my aim is to keep it fresh and vibrant. And that's what I believe Rachel has brought to the table with these first two publications. Yeah, um, it, it's not, it's a universal theme. It's not centered in a, uh, Jamaica or, or set in Jamaica. It's just about a child. I don't want to give it away because I want people to go and buy the book. Um, but, but it's interesting that you said it's a game that your parents used to play. Does this inspire a lot of the work that you do, your own lived experiences as a child? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, the inspiration really is for positive, positive reading material for children. Yeah. And... Uh, you, I get to write things from things that I experience, things that I see, and things that I would like to impart to both the, re the young readers as well as the adults. Now, it's set specifically in Jamaica, where two young boys, one from, let's just say, Upper St. Andrew, and one from the inner city, they meet, and it ends up that they help each other to achieve their particular goals at that time. And it's really a story to help persons understand the, the, the benefit of giving, helping others, still have one in particular specific to Jamaica. Okay. Well, I'll mention that you know, it's about Jamaica. Jingle Bell Light. So if we want to um, get our hands on your work, Camille, where do we go? All right. So for the first one... Um, has anyone seen Dara Smile? That's available locally at Cozy Corner. Mm -hmm. That's in Kingston 10. It's also available at Book Ophelia. That's that one there, yes. Um, we're actually doing a revised edition because that was about three years ago. Okay. And we've had to add so many things to it since. So a revised edition will be on Amazon as available on on Amazon at the moment in both a physical copy, a paperback, as well as the ebook. So, but you can also visit www.camillejackson.com and you can get the books there. Awesome. Thank you very much, Camille. We, we can't have enough books and enough stories for our children. Um, and, and I'm so, glad that you are contributing to that. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for speaking with us, Camille Jackson, children's author. Up next, 
the JRC, Jamaica Red Cross, Telethon. We'll soon come.